Welcome to a quick look at WPA Mobile's fleet management solution. Today I'll show you the benefits of having the fleet management solution directly integrated into your planning tool. Let's take a look. So here we are in our planning solution. I have my resources and I have my current work assignments. In the same tool, I now have the ability to go to the map view. I'll just click map up here and we go straight to our fleet management solution. In this map, I can click off the resources I'm interested in. So let's say I want to know the location of Henrik. I'll just click off Henrik and I get his current solution. It just zooms right into it. I can see where the location is. If I want to add Jens, just click him as well and maybe Pierre. So we get all my three cars placed on the map. If I want to use this information for something useful, that could be for an example, it could be I have a here prepared a urgent call, uh, an urgent order. I want to make sure I get the person closest so we get there as fast as possible. I'll just right click the order and then I'll say show on map. It shows me the location of the order as well as on the right hand side, I'll get the resources. I have Peer closest by, that's why he's on top. If I just click him off, you'll see Peer is quite close. Jens is also quite close and Henrik is quite far off. The color of the cars and also on the list here shows me that although Peer is closest, he's actually currently in progress, he's orange in color. So maybe Peer is not the best choice. If I click Jens, we'll see, well, he's also quite close and he's gray. Gray means, well, he's not currently working on any service orders, so maybe he's the best choice in this case. Another feature of the fleet management solution is the ability to view history. So I can go back in time and view a specific date. Let's see how that works. I'll just right click the resource I'm interested in. Let's take Peer, choose history, and then I'll have to choose the interval, how far I want to go. Let's just say a month in this case. And again, on my right hand side, I'll get the result list. And these are separate by days. So let's just drill down. I'm interested in a specific date. I'll take the 10th, the 3rd, there we are. And here we have the trip for the day. I have the trip from Kure to Copenhagen. In Copenhagen, we can see up here had a working order. It's blue, and that's because it's actually finished. And then he drove back uh, to Kyu at a later date. So that's the overview of the history. This history is also possible to get out of the system via our reporting system. The reporting is done in the next tab. Here already prepared a report. As you can see, we have the same resource. We have Pierre, and I have the separation between work hours and driving time. And I can print this out or send it to uh, whoever I want. So that was a quick overview of our fleet management solution. Thank you.